here's my little setup. This is cute. Those dogs bark at me literally every single morning. As you can probably tell by my lighting, it's pretty early in the morning right now. It's 7.47. I honestly should probably have left for work sooner, but whatever, my job's like pretty chill. I can pretty much come in like whenever I want between like 8 to 9 a.m. I mean, I even could come later, but that's just usually when I come. Anyways, I'm on my way to work right now. I probably won't be able to film too much while I'm in there, obviously, because you guys know it's a hospital. I don't know, I've seen some people do like a day in my life that are hospital workers, so I probably could just be careful and make sure I'm only like filming myself. I got a couple of screens done in the hospital, not all of them, but a good amount. Now I'm going over to our medical office building for my outpatient. They're supposed to be coming at 11, but this is the fourth appointment that we've made for this mom. So she's canceled and rescheduled three times. So I'm not gonna get my hopes up too much, honestly, about her actually coming. setup it looks a little bit different from when i'm in the hospital but basically this is called a barophone we just put this on the baby's head and then these electrodes so we use this electro gel and put it on the baby's head underneath their ear on top of their ear kind of like on their temple and then at the top of their head and this just like plays a white noise for the baby and picks up how their brain responds and then it shows up on the computer or whether they like passed or failed and that's basically it it's 11:08 right now and i have to wait at least 15 minutes um before i can leave to give her the chance to actually show up so while i wait for her i brought my other paperwork over from the babies that i've tested already in the hospital so i'm just gonna put that in their chart minutes now mom is still not here and she didn't answer the phone when we tried to call yesterday and she just has a good track record of not answering the phone or not showing up to her appointments so i'm gonna give her a call let her know that we're gonna have to reschedule her again because i have one more baby still in the nursery that needs to be screened and then two in an icu so i have to get back over there but yeah Please leave your message for... Mailbox is full. oh So I was about to get Starbucks, but this is what the line is looking like and I honestly don't feel like waiting right now. Starbucks it isn't then. I'm gonna get out of this line because I don't feel like it's not that deep to me. I literally just need to get two things out of here. So against my better judgment, I decided to come and get some Starbucks anyway because there was no line at this one, so. Hello, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing fine myself, thank you very much. Uh, can I interest you with any food or pastries today? Uh, mm, can I have a cake pop? Any and then, today? yeah, can I have um, a grande iced white mocha with light ice? Two pumps of toffee nut, please. Uh, we don't have the toffee nut. Do you have hazelnut? We don't have hazelnut either. Sorry. Do you have caramel? <laughs> caramel? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Okay, two pounds of that, and then um, vanilla sweet cream, cold foam instead of whipped cream. Starbucks, since the pandemic, has literally like, almost every time I come to a Starbucks, they're out of something all the time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you too. It is so windy outside today. It literally looks like there's smoke in the sky, but it's really just dirt and dust like blowing around because it's so windy. Mm. I don't know if they didn't stir this or what. 
worn a Halloween costume in years probably, but this year I might be going to San Diego to visit one of my friends from college. So I'm gonna go in here and see if I can find a cute little costume. I obviously have to get something that's like, you know, I want the grown woman vibes, but I also am in a relationship. costumes I was considering was like being a fairy but they have this little like tooth fairy costume but I think it's kind of tacky honestly they also have all these cute little like matching costumes for couples pretty cute this is actually pretty iconic it's like such a 2021 costume classic little devil costume but I'm not sure yet. I'm kind of tempted to just get a cat suit like this and be like cat women. Oh, and they also have this latex one. This one looks like it's a little cuter. I don't know, this is cute, but it also looks like it might look cheap and be hot and sweaty, so maybe not. I think I can do better, so I'll probably go over to Spirit. I actually had a green M&M costume when I was younger and my mom had an M&M like peanuts bag that was her costume. I might be able to get away with this. This is cute. They have so many cute police officer costumes. I just don't know if I want to be a police officer this year. <laughs> I think my best bet is going to be something that's like kind of bodysuit-ish like this. Or like this one even. No luck with finding a costume, but I at least got a pretty good idea of like what I want to do. So I'm not exactly like sure how I want to dress up or like what I'm gonna dress up as. But now I have more of an idea of like I can do a cat suit or like a romper style type of thing. The last thing I'm gonna do is go to Lowe's. I wanna check their plant nursery and see what they have. As you guys know, the plant thing has not been my thing. I've killed all of them. I actually have one living upstairs, but someone commented on one of my videos and told me that my succulents are dying because they need super bright light for survival, which I did not know, and the area that I've been keeping them in has definitely not been in bright light. Look at how freaking cute these are. I might actually get one and try again. I'm just thinking maybe this time instead of three, I'll just get one and see if I can keep it alive or not. They have a pretty good selection over here. I really like this one right here, but I feel like he's gonna grow out of this pot soon. But they don't sell any like this that come like without the pot. So I think I'm just gonna get this one and hopefully it doesn't grow too fast. I'm back at home now. I took a shower, changed my clothes, and got a little food on my stomach. I also got this lotion. Super, it looks kind of greasy, I'm not gonna lie. This is a lotion that I got at Walmart today. It's a Dove Cream Oil body lotion, so that would probably explain why it's kind of like greasy and oily feeling. But my skin's just been super dry lately, so I'm trying to try some new stuff and just find what works. I think this is like cocoa butter shea vanilla i don't know that's beside the point though so here's the plant that i got more soil for because as you can see these little twigs over here have like been dead for a while but i just don't pull them up because i don't want to pull everything up these over here have been slanted and kind of leaning over ever since the first time that i repotted it i don't know if i just didn't put it back in there right or if i don't have like enough soil or what but it's been slanting since the first time i repotted it so like, normally i would do this outside but it's way too freaking windy today I'm also gonna pot this little succulent that I got today because it came like still in this little thing and I know it'll grow better and the roots won't be all like jammed up if I take it out and actually put it in here. This one's all done, it's in there, nice and pretty, real cute. I honestly hope I didn't just kill this thing. Um, so if you're a plant person, 
let me know, but I'm gonna try to put these back in some better, more tightly packed dirt. Honestly, SOS, not really sure how this is gonna turn out. Okay, I think I did pretty good, honestly. Hopefully I didn't kill the roots when I took it out, but as you guys can see, I feel like, well, this one's still kind of crooked, but I feel like it's definitely standing a lot more upright now. I think what I did wrong the first time I repotted it is like I didn't put it deep enough into the soil so the plant couldn't really like support itself. The roots, honestly, the little bulbs on the bottom, I don't know if that's what they're called, but they looked pretty healthy in my opinion. This is the longest I've had a plant, you guys. I've had this one since October of last year and I think she's doing pretty good considering that none of the others have survived. Here are my current two little plants at the moment. Wish them luck. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, this little day in my life. I was trying to film some content that's like a different from everything that I always film. I felt like my content was getting kind of repetitive. So leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Comment what you're gonna be for Halloween if you already know or what your ideas are in mind. Or if you have any ideas of what I could be, comment that as well. Subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and I'll see you guys in my next video.